I believe in me. I believe in me. I believe in you. I believe in you. Stand strong. You are powerful. Stand strong. You are inspiring. We are fighters. We are ambitious. We are extraordinary. We are conquerors. Simply, Simply straight, straight talk. talk. Our, Our voices, voices will be heard. heard. This is Simply Straight Talk. Yeah. Tune in now, you don't want to miss out. Real conversation, plenty motivation. Uh-huh. Keep you thinking and still entertaining. Yeah, I know that you'll enjoy the mind. Those free your voice, it's your choice. Hosted by Reggie B, but you already know. And you gotta check them out and how we roll. Hey, ain't nothing off the table. Give it to you straight. Changing your mindset, talking past mistakes. You ain't gotta wait, time to take off. This is Simply Straight Talk. I'm Melissa, and this is the Simply Straight Talk podcast, where we engage in solution-based conversations with tips on how to overcome and move past the challenges and struggles we face in life. So join in, and let's show the world you got what it takes. It's showtime. Let's hop on this train of motivation. Hey, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Simply Straight Talk show. Listen. You guys have been asking for a music episode again, so I got it. I'm bringing you a little bit of music. And as we get ready to close out this season, that's right, this is the final season, the final show for (laughs) season uh, 11. We're going to get ready to move into the next season. We will not take a long break like we did the last time. This one's going to be a short break, and we'll be right back, maybe about one week, and they're going to be right back in it. So we're going to bring you some new topics, but I'm definitely going to include some more music. You guys seem to really love that. So I'm definitely going to drop some of those in the topic discussions. And of course, always going to welcome Angelique and Melissa to tune in and chime in on this. But listen, today's music show is, I want to count down my top 14 male breakup songs. Now, before some of y'all start tuning out and getting crazy about this is going to be a bashing show, no. What I want to do is highlight some songs that male artists have made, and then I'm going to come back with another show where we're going to have Angelique or Melissa or both, whoever is available, to jump in, and we're going to have them do their top 14 female uh, breakup songs. And we're going to kind of do that, man, bring some new artists, some old artists, just share some music stuff with you guys. But to kick this off, I got to start off with a quote from Stevie Wonder, who said, music is a world within itself. It is a language we all understand. And we do. Whether it's a male song or female song, it doesn't matter who's singing it. If the lyrics move you, they move you. You feel it. Music is a form of communication that expresses emotions and connects people from a wide variety of cultures. It doesn't matter the genre. From the smooth sounds of jazz guitarist Wes Montgomery, if y'all never heard my man, y'all definitely need to check him out, rest in peace, to the dynamic rap songs, man, Ludacris, T.I., you know what I'm saying, Eminem, Kendrick Lamar, so it's all out there, but to attain a better understanding of how music speaks to the soul, let's look at some of the different situations in which music can provide some comfort. Ballads are probably the most popular category especially when it comes to expressing our sentiment of love, you know, from the painful moments of heartbreaks, you know, to just simply feeling enthusiastic and overwhelmed with love. Reggae has always been one of my favorite styles of music. And Bar Marley, much respect, has always been one of my favorite reggae artists. It provides a unique drum beat packed back, I'm sorry, back by the piano that just makes you want to dance. Reggae covers a variety of topics from love to social awareness. Regardless of the topic, it will always have you swaying to the beat of the song. Country music is another form of music that will forever remain on my playlist. Yes, I love country music. No shame whatsoever. All right? (laughs) I I love it. I love the expression that they use in country music. So, and to me, you know, it's one of the most appealing features for me is the lyrics of country music that's what really gets me with country music also 
The most common misconception of this category is that all country songs are sad, and that is absolutely not true. Some songs are motivational, they're inspirational, just like any other genre. Some of those songs are just about living life and being happy. You know, you will find some sad songs, but you'll also find songs that make you laugh and inspire you to live life. Rap has come a long way since the 1970s, from artists such as the Sugar Hill Gang and the Fag Bat Band. Today's hip-hop songs express the way that you currently see the world. For some people, rap lyrics are too coarse in content, regardless of anyone's personal feelings for the lyrics of rap music. You cannot deny the fact that rap music does promote social awareness to the community and concerns that have been ignored by society. You got to acknowledge that. Classical and jazz can capture the imagination and create the perfect setting for romance. These two styles of music can be composed with or without vocals. One of the fascinating characters of classical and jazz music is the power of the instruments alone to mesmerize the listener. That's why I love jazz. That's why I love classical. I love the instrumentation, man. It like, it, it can just have you sitting there because the music alone tells a story. You know what I'm saying? You can sit there listening to it and you can find yourself in another world. That's why you see a lot of movies use classical music. Movies use music to kind of create the mood and set you in the environment. Here you will find one of the few styles of music that can bring you tears without a single vocalist performing. That's all facts, baby. That's all facts. But those are just my personal views when it comes to music. But I want to get into this because next, I want to focus on listening. Well, I want to focus on listing, listing my top 14 R&B songs from male singers about breaking up with someone. I chose these songs to show based on the musical arrangements and the impacts of the lyrics to the listener and the vocals. So that's why I chose these songs. These are my personal songs. I welcome you to drop down in the comments. Tell me songs that you, tell me your 14 top breakup songs or your top five. Share me, share with me your favorite breakup songs, you know, be it male or female, you know, but this category right here today, we're going to talk about males singing songs. And I definitely want to welcome you to share because I want to know what you guys think. I want to know what songs do you like? What songs do you love when it comes to, you know, breakup songs? Now, number 14 on the list. Don't get mad. I know this is a popular song, but hear the list out, please. Number 14. Let's start off with Drew Hill. We are not making love anymore. Now, this song was released in 1997 and was featured in the movie Soul Food. The song peaked at number 13 on the Billboard Hot 100 and number two on the Billboard R&B chart. I love this song by Drew Hill because the song really speaks from a male perspective. When they're singing the song, these guys are singing about, you know, how the relationship has changed, how they're not doing the things they used to do. Cause he's not just talking about them just actually having sex. He's talking about how they're not talking. They're not communicating. They're not seeing eye to eye on situations. And when you hear this song, you know, I like the lyrics because it speaks to the reality of a lot of relationships today, because if people are not conscious, they fall into the same thing. Now, Cisco takes the lead on this song. Man, I'm telling you, Drew Hill is a classic group. This is definitely one of my favorite songs. We are not making love anymore. It's a nice ballad. And like I said, it's something that you can connect with if you're going through something, if you're dealing with something. The video is really good, too. They use a lot of symbolism in the video, like, you know, things fading away, dust scenes, glasses simply, like, melting away into dust. And how, over time, that's how relationships some kind, sometimes can actually end up just falling apart. So number 14 was Drew Hill, We Are Not Making Love Anymore. Number 13. Now, this is a group that I don't know if many of, you, many of you really know, but I feel like they never got the attention that they really deserve because not only were they R&B, but they were also rap. 
Okay? So the next group at number 13 is Whistle. Whatever happened to us? Whistle was a 1980s contemporary R&B group that comprised of Jazzy, Jazzy Jazz, Cool Dolby, DJ Silver, Spinner. The group performed hip-hop and R&B songs. The song Whatever Happened to Us was released in 1990 under their album entitled Always and Forever. Listen, this is an amazing album. These guys really had some great voices. Other songs was a song they had called Still My Girl. Always and, Ever, Always and Forever is a song that you've heard remade. Luther Vandross remade it. You know, you can't argue with Luther. You know, but... <laughs> It was really a great song. And Whatever Happened to Us really talks about sort of similar to Drew Hill, We're Not Making Love Anymore, except they sort of get a little bit more specific because he talks about the fact in the song, he's singing about like, we don't talk, you know, we don't have the conversations, you know. So he's wondering why things have changed. Whereas Drew Hill in their song, We're Not Making Love Anymore, it is to the man and woman talking to each other in Whistle's song, What Happened to Us to our number 13 on this list, he's basically taking it from his perspective of, I don't understand why our relationship is going to this. Why are we not talking anymore? Why are we not being the couple we should be? We don't talk. We don't call. We don't say, I love you. And he mentions all this in the song. And this is something that a lot of guys do feel like when they get into relationships, although we have sort of been depicted as stoneless people. But this is to show you that when men sing these songs, there's a side to us that hurt and feel as well. And I think Whistle did a great job in this song, Whatever Happened to Us. Still My Girl is another one. And it's just a really great song. It is a great ballad. You're going to love the tempo. They harmonize really well. They were sort of an earlier version of Boys to Men. So I think you will really like Whistle if you give them a listen. Definitely check them out. You know, you can find them on YouTube. Uh, but this was a band that I don't think ever got the credit that they really deserve. Number 12 in my list of top male R and B breakup songs. Now listen, I know I'm going to get some flack for this. But keep in mind, keep in mind that I am talking about the lyrics to the song. I'm talking about the lyrics, okay? Millie Vanilli, I know somebody done turned their head up. Girl, I'm gonna miss you. Now, and this song was released in 1989 from the album called, uh, oh, entitled Girl You Know It's True. Now, Millie Vanilli was on the path to a very long and successful career until they were discovered to be lip syncing during a live concert. Now, I find it strange that this ruined, you know, you know, the group's future when many of today's popular artists lip sync their shows. You'll be surprised how many artists who have these huge dance routines, they will lip sync their show because they're out of breath and they can't continue really singing and it won't sound good. So some of their songs are actually lip synced. I think they should publish that. But anyway, that's not what this show is about. We are talking about Millie Vanilli right now. The song is called Girl, I'm Gonna Miss You. And basically, this is a relationship that has gone its way. And they're basically speaking about how they're gonna miss this lady. Like, I'm, I'm gonna miss you. And they warn her back, but they sort of understand that the relationship is done. And like I said, Millie Vanilli... <sighs> that whole lip sync thing really hurt them, but I really like this song. I really like the fact that they're expressing that we understand the relationship is done, but I'm going to miss you. I still am going to miss you. So that's number 12, Millie Vanilli. Next stop, we're going to jump to number 11. Now, are you ready? Are you ready? Can you handle this? Okay. Now, I know some old school folks out there like, man, you about to get your ass slapped. I ain't liking where you're placing some of these songs, but keep in mind, this is my list, y'all. But drop y'all list down below and tell me what y'all songs are. Number 11. Number 11 on my top male R&B breakup songs is Jagged Edge, Girl Is Over. 
Jagged Little Thrill is the third studio album from the R&B group Jagged Edge, which contains the song Girl Is Over. The album was released on June 26, 2001. The song has created one of the most popular sayings for people who are fed up in their relationships. The lyrics from the song people have adopted are, I really got to change my life because I'm tired of living like all we do is fight. Real love ain't like this. If you think about it, these words are made, these words will make a person ask themselves, how much are you willing to put up with in a relationship? And in the song, they're basically singing about, they recognize that she wants to go her separate way. She's unsure and that this is probably not a good fit. He's talking about how they argue. He's fed up with, you know, and he's basically fed up. He's like, listen, you know, if you want to go your own way and do your own thing, that's fine. It's over. I can't do this anymore. And that's basically what the song is about. It's basically a man saying, listen, I, I, I can't live where I'm not happy. A man can't exist in a relationship where he's not happy. And that goes the same for a woman too, but this is a male song. Okay. So don't, don't get feminist on me here, but he's basically expressing that. Like when you're in a relationship and all you do is argue and fight. And that's what the song is about. You know, the couple has grown apart. You know, they're not doing the things they used to do. They're not interacting. And it's just, it's an unhealthy, toxic relationship. And he's talking about that. He's talking about how toxic and how much it hurts him. And he just can't do it anymore. So, girl, it's over. It's over. You know, if that's what you want, leave. You want to go, go. But I can't do this anymore. I'm done. I'm over it. I'm over it. <laughs> so that was our number 11 song, Jagged Edge, Girl Is Over. So we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back with more of the Simply Straight Talk Show. You're listening to Simply Straight Talk. Hey. Are you looking for some great music, upbeat, and with a positive voice? Well, the song, I Stand With You, is exactly what you need. This timeless song has a pop version sung by Audrey Carmel. And a reggae version sung by General Steele, now known as Revelation. Now I know some days. You may feel blue, Lord, trust in your greatness to see you through. These songs are now available on iTunes and other digital platforms for download. Don't miss out. Get your copy today. Give life your best and I know. Like what you hear so far? Make sure you never miss a show by clicking the subscribe button now. This podcast is made possible by listeners like you. Thank you for your support. Now back to the show. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to the second part of today's show. Man, today we're talking about the top 14 male breakup songs. My list, all times, hands down, I said it. The top 14 male breakup songs, y'all. And I'm sharing my list with you. These are the songs that I am I chose them based on the vocals, based on the music arrangement, and just based on the lyrics. Do the lyrics actually speak to you? Do they really pull you in? Do they connect with the music listener? Okay? So that is why I chose these songs. So let's jump in to it number 10 number 10 the commodores that's right them commodores baby and the song i chose is easy now i know y'all heard the song i know it sounds funny but i just can't stand the pain girl i'm leaving you tomorrow i ain't say i was a singer i said i love music but anyway Number 10 for me, man, is the Commodores. Easy is a song by the Commodores from the album entitled 
Commodores. It was released in March 1977. The Commodores are an R&B group loved by people from all over the world. Here we have another song that expresses the trials of a relationship and the effort put forth to make the relationship work. Because he even says as part of the lyrics, now the song, uh, the lead singer on this song is Lionel Richie. And he says, I beg, stole, and I borrowed. And I guess it's easy like Sunday morning, man, let her go. Let her go. You know, because sometimes you need songs like this, because this is a comforting song, because he's basically saying, listen, I've done everything I could. And it's not like the song we had before with Jagged, Jagged Edge, Girl is Over, where it's kind of like, yeah, I'm done. It's over. You want to leave? Leave. This is more of a mellow type song. It's very mellow, very smooth. And he's just kind of like real in a cool way saying, I beg, stolen, I borrowed. I've done everything I could. So I'm going to let you just walk away because it's easy like Sunday morning, baby. Yeah, I just can't stand the pain. So he's like, I'm going to let it go. So in this song, this is a song for those guys who are going through something and the relationship is over. You've done everything you can do. And you just come to the terms that, you know what? Yeah, I'm about to let this ride. Ain't, ain't, ain't nothing I can do. Just let it go. There is nothing I can do to keep it. So I'm just have to let you just ease on out the way. Okay? Easy like Sunday morning. <laughs> All right, y'all. Number nine is After Seven. After Seven is really a very talented group. Um, and the song I chose from After Seven is Till You Do Me Right. Okay, Till You Do Me Right is a song by After Seven from the group's third album called Reflections. Now, it was released in 1995. Till You Do Me Right was produced by Babyface and co-written by Kelvin and Melvin. The song earned the group a top 40 hit in three countries, including reaching number five on the Billboard Singles chart. Now, this song is a little bit more upbeat than the previous songs that I've mentioned. You know, because after seven, this is this song expresses, comes from a point of expression to where the person is angry. Not angry like hostility, but just hurt. And you hear it in the vocals. You hear the way it's delivered in the vocals because there's a real impact when he says till you do me right i don't even want to talk to you i don't even want to hear you say my name you know he, he he hits certain words with an impact to let him know like listen i'm i'm done with this but this also is a song that sort of leaves an opening for the woman to come back so clearly, if you listen to the lyrics and you hear the song, he's not saying, I don't want to deal with you anymore. In the song, he's letting her know that I gave my best to you. I gave my world to you. But you did me wrong. And until you do me right, he doesn't want to talk about it. He doesn't want to deal with the situation. So he's basically asking the woman to change. He's asking her to recognize what he's contributing and how much he loves her, how much he's shown that he loves her. And he's saying, until you do me right, there's nothing for us. So he's basically giving her an ultimatum. So she has the option to, you know, check in and do right or bounce. So this is a song that sort of kind of goes against the other songs, where the other songs were clearly saying, it's over, just walk away. This song is more saying, are you going to be better? Can you do better? Can you handle what I'm bringing? All right. Number nine, Usher. Burn. Burn is a song by the R&B singer Usher, which he wrote with American songwriter Jermaine Japri, Brian Michael Cox. The song was released for Usher's fourth studio album, Confessions, in, in 2004. I'm about to go back to the 19th. But in 2004 is when this song was released on the Confessions album. Listen, Burn is just a, it's just a song. Like I said, it's not really a slow, you know, sort of out there ballad. It's just accepting the fact that I got to let it go. 
I, I, I got to let this go. You know, I got to let go of the memories, let go of the hurt, let go of the pain, and just let it burn. And I think some people struggle with that. So if you're in a situation to where you're trying to move past somebody, this would be a great song for that situation. Because burn is really about, I, I just got to let it go. When you set something on fire, it starts burning, it turns to ashes, and it blows away. You know, great song. I think this is probably one of Ursha's best vocal songs. And I really like the, arra- the musical arrangements on, the- on this one. And I love the lyrics. So, shout out to Ursha on this one, man. Our number eight top male male R&B breakup song is Ursha Burn. Like I said, I love the vocals. I love the arrangement. I think this is a great song, and it really speaks to letting something go and accepting that something is over. Now, number seven. As we get into number seven, man, th- this song right here, it's going to flip the script a little bit. Okay, it's going to sort of flip the script. Now, number seven is New Edition, Leave Me. The song Leave Me was released in November 2004 on the album titled One Love. For over 25 years, New Edition has graced the stage and provided with some of the world's greatest music. Vocally, these guys have credited hits such as a group as well as individual albums. After having successfully fought to get out of their long-term contract with MCA Records, the group signed with Bad Boy Records, which I thought was a horrible idea. Oh my God, I thought it was a horrible idea. But they signed with Bad Boy Records. Uh, When I heard the news regarding New Edition signing with Bad Boy Records, I, like I said, man, I knew this was not the best option. I think this is too much talent and too much vocal skills because I think groups like Bad Boy, uh, I'm sorry, Bad Boy, Baby Boy Records, I think they deal more with, you know, the okay auto-tune artists, not the real vocal. They don't know how to use people's voices to the best. But anyway, anyway, so the song Leave Me, that's what we're here to talk about. New edition song Leave Me is something different um, because when they're singing in this song, this is a song to where they're basically saying, I know you can find better. They come, this song is about making the decision. Do you stay with someone just for the convenience, knowing that you're not good for them? You know, that you're not really ready to be in that type of relationship right now. You know, it can be for somebody who's not really stable. Financially, you're not stable. Your career is not where it should be. You can't provide the way that you feel you should be able to provide. Or, you know, you know yourself and you know that you're just not ready to be the person that this person needs. So leave me is basically them telling the woman, you know, listen, maybe down the line, it'll come back. But for right now, I know you deserve better. And sometimes people don't know how to take that. When someone is honestly looking within themselves and saying, you know, I'm not a good person. I'm not. And for those of you who listen to the podcast, there was actually a situation where there was this girl who I thought was absolutely gorgeous. I love talking to her. And when I finally kicked up the nerve to say, hey, you know, we should go out. Let's talk. Let's let's see what happens. And with the sweetest face, she looked me in the eyes and I mean, dead in my eyes. And she said, I would. She said, but you are such a nice guy and you have such a wonderful smile. I would take your smile away. She says, I know me. And she said, please don't take this as I don't like you or I wouldn't want to. She says, but I would take your smile away and I would not want to answer to God for that. How do you respond back to that? You know, (laughs) yes. Was I a little hurt? Yeah. But ultimately I had to respect the fact that she knew where she was in her life. She knew mentally and emotionally where she was. And she did not want to bring me into that because she felt like she would do more damage and harm than actually being able to enhance and complete each other. And that's what the new edition song Lead Me is about. He's basically telling her that, listen, you know, I, 
I'm just not the ready. I'm not ready. I'm not the man I should be right now to be with a woman like you. So you will be better finding somebody. There's somebody better for you. There's somebody who will treat you better. There's somebody who will actually love you the way you deserve to be loved. And this is in the song. This is what he's saying. These are the lyrics in the song. So check it out, man. Number seven, new edition, Leave Me. And I say that because you'd be surprised when you find these songs, how these songs really make you connect. Because when you hear a song you can connect with, it speaks volumes to you. Volumes. Now, number six. Number six. This group right here, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Number six, Full Force. And the song I selected from Full Force is All In My Mind. If you have not heard this song, please listen. Let me tell you something. Full Force has some of the most amazing vocals you have, you will hear. These guys are amazing. I love Full Force vocals. That's what hooked me onto their music in the first place. Friends Before Lovers. You know, I mean, just, oh man, that, you know, guess who's coming to dinner album, man, full force. Let me tell you something. These guys are super talented. I love the song black radio. They're amazing. They also work with UTFO and I'm just like, these guys are outstanding. Listen to the music of full force. Listen to their music. But for right now, Full Force song we have selected is All In My Mind. Full Force released their third album entitled Guess Who's Coming to the Crib. I'm sorry, I apologize. I got that wrong. Uh, The third song was Guess Who's Coming to the Crib in 1987. The album provided one of the band's biggest hits as a recording act with All In My Mind. In the event anyone is not aware of this legendary band, or unable to identify some of their work, let me school you, educate you, and refresh your memory. This group, Full Force, produced and wrote music for UTFO, Dr. Ice, Samantha Fox, Patti LaBelle, Jasmine Guy, The Four MDs, and the R&B's all-female group, Ex-Girlfriend, Britney Spears, James Brown, Lisa Lisa and Coke Jam, Backstreet Boys, NSYNC, Latoya Jackson, and Selena. What's up? Recognize Full Force, baby. Full Force produced UTFO's Roxanne Roxanne in 1985, a record that led to several answer records, most notably one by Roxanne Shante. The group produced Rihanna's 2005 hit, That La La La, which appeared on her debut album, Music of the Sun. I have always felt that Full Force is one of the most underrated musical groups of our time. I would advise any true music lover to check out their music catalog, man. These guys were ahead of their time when they put out music. Now, All In My Mind is a song to where they're taking you through different scenarios to where basically the guys want to show the woman that they love them and the women were doing different things. They weren't faithful. They were cheating. They were lying. And they was the song was talking about how the, he believed that this woman was for him and loved him. But it was really all in his mind because he wasn't seeing the signs. He wasn't recognizing the fact that she was distancing herself. She was out there doing other things. So he thought he had a woman. And check out the video as well because it's really funny when he comes home, he walks into the room. He's hugging her and another guy worms out the room. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a great video. They got a great comedy aspect, but these guys are super talented, man. They have also played in some movies, notably uh, with Kid and Play. My mind, I'm focused on that music right now. But the thing about it is, this is a very talented group. I love the song All In My Mind. Once again, great musical arrangement for the track. I love their vocals. I love their vocal. This is a very talented band. So check out All In My Mind. The song really speaks from a male perspective about being a male or female. Like I said, music to the interpretation of the soul. It really speaks to the fact that they're talking about being in love with someone and that person not being in love with you. And in your mind, you're seeing them as one way and believing one thing. 
until reality hits you and you find out that this is not the person you thought they were. This person does not feel or think or respect you the way you think. So it is a great song. Great song. So check it out. Full force. All in my mind. I thought you loved me, but I was blind. You know, I might I'll treat y'all to a little song here and then. Number five. Boys to Men, and the song is doing just fine. Everybody know Boys to Men for their great vocal singing. Doing Just Fine is a song performed by an R&B group, Boys to Men, from their third album called Evolution, released in 1998. The group was discovered by Michael Bivens of who? New Edition, baby! The first concert I attended in San Diego, California, consisted of Boys to Men and LL Cool J. If you have never seen this group in person, you are truly missing out on music at its best. I mean, they're, oh man, what you see on TV is nothing to hearing these guys perform live. Many of the songs from Boys to Men are filled with lyrics that are designed to just tap into your heart's innermost feelings. Songs like It's So Hard to Say Goodbye to Yesterday, On Bended Knees, I'll Make Love to You, A Song for Mama, are examples of this group's powerful musical vocal skills that brings music to life. Doing Just Fine is speaking about she's gone, she's left, and now he's simply saying, I'm doing fine. He's speaking about, I'm okay. She's gone, the relationship ended, but I'm all right. I'm doing just fine. I'm doing just fine since you walked away. I'm doing just fine since we broke up. And that's what the song is speaking about. Is speaking about dealing with how you're feeling after things are done. You know, when somebody leaves you, a lot of people want you to be down in the dirt. They want to see you hurt. But boys and men say, I'm doing just fine, baby. <laughs> Listen, we got a few more to go. I'm not going to hold y'all too much longer. So let's go ahead and hit number four. Number four on my top 14 best male vocalists. I got to give it to this, my man, it hurt to put him at number four. Oh, my God. Teddy Pendergrass, love TKO. I think I better let it go. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Looks like another love TKO. Oh, oh, oh. Now, Love TKO is a song written by Cecil Womack and Gip Noble Jr. for a soul singer named David Oliver in 1980. Cecil and Linda Womack recorded the songs themselves as Womack and Womack as TKO on their debut album, Love Wars, in 1983. But most of us know this song from the legendary R&B soul artist, the man himself, Teddy Pendergrass, who recorded the same year on his 1980 album. Well, he recorded a song on the same year's 1980 album uh, called T.P., as I listened to these three different singers perform the Love TKO, there was one thing that stood out. Power and delivery. Teddy Pendergraft gave life to the lyrics of this song with strong, soulful vocals. I love an artist who has powerful vocals. And Teddy Pendergraft was the epitome of that. This man could pour power into a song with the lyrics but he can also pull it back and make it some mellow and smooth. Now, Love TKO basically talks about I've fallen in love and I've lost love. Now it's like it's happening all over again. Looks like another love TKO. Oh, oh, oh. But that's, <laughs> but that's uh, Teddy Pendergrass song. Love TKO talks about losing that love again. It takes a fool to love twice and start all over again. You know, and it's just a beautiful song. His powers, his vocals, it's just an amazing song. And he speaks about falling in love. It's another loss. He's thinking that this is it and this is not it. You know, how many times can you keep going through this? And that's what the song is about. Love TKO is a great song. Powerful vocals from the man himself. Mr. Teddy Pendergrass. Number three. Number three is Johnny Gill with second place. 
Now, the song's second place is a single from the album titled Still Winning. This was the sixth studio album by R&B singer Johnny Gill, released October the 11th, 2011. Uh, just so you know, October the 11th is, is, is a brother's birthday right here. So this is why this is a great song, okay? Anything released on my birthday is great, all right? But no, <laughs> uh, it was released by Johnny Gill uh, in October 11, 2011. The album received mixed reviews, you know, from some of the music critics. I think in this album, Johnny Gill was really trying to explore his vocal range. And because he's known for a very soulful voice. And I think he was trying to explore it. And I think some music critics didn't quite get it. In this song's second place, he does sing in a more facado type voice, but I love it. It sounds so good. Johnny Gill has one of the most powerful and soulful voices in the music business today. He's one of the last true vocalists still alive today. One of his greatest hits was the song My My My, which still drive audiences crazy today. He has had a great solo and group career as a member of New Edition. He was also a member of LSG, Levert, Sweat, Gill, and like I said, you know him from New Edition. Listen, second place is Johnny Gill basically saying, listen, you're a great person, you're a great woman, but, you know, what happens when you meet somebody and, you know, like you're in, you've got an interest in this person and you got that person, but you care about somebody, but they just don't meet the marker to be that number one in your life. So that person now falls to second place. Not, and you have to tell them like, listen, I think you're a great person, but this is the person I'm in love with. This is the person I want to be with, you know, and it's a heartfelt song. It is a very mellow and soft heartfelt song about having to tell somebody you're not in love with them. It's like, you're not my choice. You know what I'm saying? If it wasn't for this person, you would be my choice, but you're not my choice. And trying to encourage that person is what he's doing in the song, but also trying to be truthful about the fact that she didn't meet the final cut for who he wants to really be with in his life. That's tough. That's tough. But that's why I love that song. I love the honesty of the lyrics. Once again, it is a great song. Now, he is singing in a higher pitch than uh, I think a lot of people are used to. They're so used to the my, 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 the more soulful, mellow, powerful voices, where this one is a more higher pitch falsetto. So I love the song. Number three on my list was Johnny Gill, second place. Next up. Number two, number two is Mr. Ralph Tresvant, also a member of New Edition. He was one of the lead singers. And the song I chose from Ralph Tresvant, now this is from Ralph Tresvant's solo album. This is not affiliated with New Edition. But the song I chose from Ralph Tresvant was Do What I Gotta Do. Do What I Gotta Do is a song performed by R&B singer Ralph Tresvant from his self-titled debut album, Ralph Tresvant. The album was released in 1990 by MCA Records and has been certified platinum by the Recording Industry Association of America. Ralph Tresvant, you know, was the lead group singer of New Edition along until when Johnny Gill came in, then they co-led the group. Ralph Tresvant has created some of the most amazing balance from Never Notice, Love Hurts, and I Love You Just For You. I don't think Ralph Tresvant really got the respect or I don't think his solo career took off as well as it should have. He really has some great songs on his solo album. Never Notice is a song that I listen to right now, which I'm going to have to add as a complimentary, you know what I'm saying, to this list. You know, I said 14, so if there was number 15, it would probably be uh, Never Noticed by Ralph Tresvant. Uh, but Do What I Gotta Do is my number two choice because Do What I Gotta Do is basically Ralph Tresvant saying, I don't want to hurt you. But I got to go. I got to break your heart. And though it's tearing me apart, the best thing is for us to be apart. This is another song to where a man is saying, you know, 
I don't want to just be with you just to be with you. And I don't because you're going to end up getting hurt. So I'd rather end it now and let you know that it's not working instead of just lingering in a situation and dragging somebody on. He's basically telling her, I got to do what I got to do and break her heart. And though it's tearing me apart, the best thing is for us to be apart. And he's been saying it. He said, he starts off the song. Lately, I've been feeling single, like being alone. And, but what happens? And like I said, when you listen to the lyrics in these songs, that's why I chose these songs because of the lyrics, the lyrics. When you listen to a song and you're like really getting into what that artist is saying, what are they really saying? You know, what is it that you need to pay attention to? Because the lyrics really speak. So a lot of people just listen to, you know, beats, but you got to listen to the song and really understand you know, what that song is saying, how that song connects. And that's what he does. He he does a great job with this one. He does a really great job and just letting her know that he is going to have to leave. It was not working. It hurts. He understands it. He's hurting. I know she's hurting, but, you know, I got to go. I got to go. So now coming up, is the number one song. Number one. Number one male breakup song of all time. This is the number one song, people. Are you ready? Are you ready? The number one song of all time that I have for my top 14 songs for male breakup R&B songs goes to Prince. I love you, but I don't trust you anymore. Now, I love you, but I don't trust you anymore was released by Prince on his album Rave Unto the Joy um, in 2001. There were two other songs by Prince I contemplated as the number one R&B breakup song. They were Got a Broken Heart Again and Goodbye. Each of these songs are remarkable with amazing arrangements. Prince has always been more than a singer or entertainer. He is simply a master artist of music. For those who have followed Prince from early years to his later years, there's a dramatic change in the style and showmanship of his music. As I listen to his music, I could recognize certain characteristics of his vocal range, vocal weight, tessitura, his vocal timbre, his vocal transition, points such as breaks and lifts within his voice. If you never witnessed this artist in concert, then you have missed out on the opportunity to hear the sound of real music in its purest form. Prince was a vocal, a vocal lesson point. He would give you different octaves and fluctuations with his voice to lift the song, emphasize particular, particular lyrics or words. Man, a genius, all I can say. But the song I, tr- I chose for Prince is I Love You, But I Don't Trust You Anymore. Number one, it is simply a very slow, relaxed, jazz-filled song that just sort of flows. The introduction with the piano. You know, he's just so amazing at the way he creates the interlude to his songs. So... As you listen to the song, he he just, I love you, but I don't trust you anymore, is a song about the fact that he understands, he, he loves this woman, he wants to be with her, you know what I'm saying? He does love her, but because of the things she's done, he can no longer trust you. He starts off the song as I could tell from the moment you walked in the room that wasn't the dress you had on, that wasn't your perfume. And what happened to the ring that I gave you? What am I to assume? He's he's questioning himself, but he's also questioning her actions, things he's noticing. And he says, you know, you could tell from the moment you looked in my eyes that I could see right through you. You must apologize. I have given you the best in life 
even in the wrong, it was right. I know you trust me, but you don't love me anymore. And I love how he flips it in the, uh, in the third verse with, I love you, but I don't trust you anymore. You know what I'm saying? So he said, I know you trust me, but you don't love me anymore. He says, I love you, but I don't trust you anymore. I was like, oh, you know, just listening to this song, man. And I've always thought that Prince was just a master of lyrics. You know, and he was, he goes on to say, I remember meeting you here in the good old days. I would never pick the flower of my favorite protege. Maybe if I would have, then you would not treat me this way. You tricked me, but you were not anymore. I love you, but I don't trust you anymore. You know, it's just, I love the way he plays with the words. He does use a lot of sort of symbols or, um, Subjects in his words to keep kind of identify to give you to get a listener like you have to really listen to Prince lyrics. You have to listen and read them <laughs> because he might reference different things when he does his songs. So you have to kind of really pay attention. But I, I love that song because it's a song to where he's actually come to the revelation that he believes something is going on with her. He's not quite sure how he wants to. You know, he's like, I love you. I'm not sure how. You can change that. He loves her, but he can no longer trust her. But he knows that she does not love him, although she trusts him. How many people have been in relationships to where they're with somebody who trusts them because they know that person loves them and will not do anything, but they don't love that person. So they will do what they want to do because they trust the other person who won't do anything. I just think it's a beautiful song. In this song, he is basically calling her out. He's calling her out. He's looking her in the eyes and calling her out about the things he's noticed, seeing, and feeling. And she, like he said, she has no choice. You must apologize. And he acknowledged that I've given you the best in life. How could you do this to me? Why would you do this to me? These are the things that happens in relationships. So that's why I have chosen Prince. I love you, but I don't trust you anymore because this is one where it's an actual in-your-face song confrontation between the man and the woman where the other person is being called out. Listen, I think we all can learn from music and it provides comfort for a variety of situations. Today, let us recognize that love does not spare hurt based on gender. Men and women all over the world are victims of heartache and loneliness. One of the things I noticed from these songs is that I did not pick up on until I went back and played them again was honesty. Each of these songs was based on someone being honest about their feelings. It's never easy to tell someone you don't love them or don't want to be with them anymore. But, but it's better than leading the person on for years just to tell them, uh, you know, you're going through the motions or they might pick up that you're going through the motions. If we start off being completely honest in the beginning about what we want and expect in relationships, then maybe we can avoid, you know, some of the pain from love. Love is a beautiful feeling and everyone should have the pleasure of enjoying it with someone who's loved them just as much. So let's make an effort not to destroy a person's hope for love, but let's make it a reality, baby. Hey, thank you for checking out today's show, man. That was my top 14 male R&B breakup song. Drop a comment down below. Let me know. What are your favorite breakup songs from men? Are there any male songs out there that make you go, that's my shit. <laughs> I'm going to cry a little bit. But what's up, man? Y'all holler at your boy. Thank you for checking out the Simply Straight Talk Show. And we will see you in two weeks. That's it for this week's episode of the Simply Straight Talk podcast. Be sure to sign up to our email list at simplystraighttalk.com and follow us in your favorite podcast app so that you don't miss our next episode. Wishing you a wonderful day from the Simply Straight Talk crew. Simply Straight Talk with your host Reggie B. Come on, let's all join in. Free your voice, it's your choice, all right here. Simply 
stretch, simply stretch all.